What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Dermy Wormy and this is a very interesting story. I, this is not like a pop culture story. Well, it's more of a cultural story, culturally revel relevant. Um, a individual by the name of Russell Brand. I'm pretty sure we all know who Russell Brand is. As of right now, he's a he's kind of a center left political talking dude that just speaks out against the establishment. Okay, don't have a problem with him. Some of his opinions agree with some of them. I don't. That's how the world goes, though. So he has been accused of um, forcing himself on multiple women, including a minor. That that's. And I have to be very careful here because of how YouTube does this stuff. But yes, he has been accused of this, you know, and I'm not going to go through the whole st Well, I'll go through some of it. Russell Brand was accused of <clears throat> sexually um, forcing himself and harming four women over the course of seven years. And one victim was a uh, minor. He allegedly called the child. According to a bombshell report, the British actor and comedian denied prior to its release. The allegations against the 48-year-old stem from the height of his fame between 2006 and 2013. According to a joint investigation published Saturday, the Sunday Times in London of London, the Times of London and Channel 4 dispatches. Okay, I want to focus in on that, and I know we have a bunch of other stuff, but we're going to go here. I want you to guys remember what Sunday Times and Channel 4 put out. This is what I want you guys to remember. Just keep remembering, focusing on that. One woman identified as Nadia alleged that get him to the Greek star uh, forced himself upon her against the wall of his Los Angeles home in 2012 and was treated at a uh, crisis center the same day, according to the medical records cited by the outlets. The woman later told Brad that she had been scared and felt taken advantage of, telling him when a girl says no, it means no, to which he responded he was very sorry text messages cited by the report show so that's what i wanted to pull up okay you know you got it over here as well at the guardian it's being reported by the daily mail of course new york post so this is a story okay i'm going to come over here to andrea burkhart andrea burkhart fantastic uh lawyer digs into this stuff looks deep into it the thing is though she didn't look too deep into these um, text messages. Not not at all, actually. Because I have them pulled up here. Okay, I have them pulled up. And he, here's the series of texts. But I, I'm going to show you something because this got pointed out by uh, the Umbrella Guy, actually, today. And uh, I was noticing it all through his video before he even started talking about it. When you actually hear, I'll even do this. Just take a look at the text messages, the text, everything like that. You can see there, there's something a little wonky going on here with these text messages. And we'll read through these, and we're, we're going to be very careful, you know, because words. But I'm sorry, that was crazy and selfish. I hope you can forgive me. I know that you're a lovely person, X. You scared the ish out of me. You're right. I'm a lovely person. And for you to take advantage of me like that is unexpected. You have a problem. You need help. It's dangerous that you think you can get your own way all the time. Do you know how scary you are when the that glaze look comes over you? When a girl say no, it means no. Do I have to go and get myself tested. Last time you asked me, uh, condom or no condom, when I say condom, that doesn't mean it's optional. You don't have the best reputation. I pry myself on being safe and trying to make the right decisions. Obviously, this was a bad one. I'm so disappointed. Okay, I want to... I'm, I'm going to go kind of show you something here because just take a good long look at this bubble. There's something off, isn't there? Because when you scroll in, and I know it, obviously it's going to get a little weird and a little wonky when you scroll in, but if this is a screenshot, 
all this text should be a uniform style and everything should be one giant bubble but you come down here uh oh you see th there's a little bit of white right here you can see that it doesn't overlay quite right and the text starts getting what is called noise and stuff like that when you start editing you know photoshopping and stuff like that you start learning what noise is and noise is the uh, digital surrounding basically to any image you know when it's all fuzzy and blurry yeah that's noise look at all this noise from here huh and also when a girl says no it means no this is a state this all started coming out in 2012 this statement became more popularized when uh <clears throat> Hashtag me too was going on again. A lot of this was cited by the umbrella guy go check him out You know talk to him about all this. He I think he's gonna be doing a deep dive into Just how crazy this is but just just, uh, just look at this you can even tell and it's it might be a little hard to show off right here But just look at that. Here is an actual text message bubble. Here is a bubble not centered not on there, right? Not cropped properly. Okay, so you already got some questions in what the heck's going on here, but now you come over here uh, You come down here. This also looks weird, doesn't it? It doesn't look like the same style as up here This still has a little bit of that noise going on I'm very sorry. You don't need to get tested. I will make this up to you somehow with li with live and kindness not my original idea which was more <clears throat> sexy time you've been lovely to me and i'm embarrassed by my behavior sorry x will you ever forgive me x now why what what's the importance going on here well first off you can just tell by the text itself it's a still a little wonky but i'm gonna scroll up right here july 1st 2012 at 3 29 a.m July 1st, 2012 at 10.59 a.m. Uh-oh. There's no tag. There's no timestamp. There's no moment for when this text came out. But then, you know, there is one right here. Another thing to uh, kind of point out, they're not quite centered either. And they're all kind of, they're all kind of weird looking going on here, you know? N not something funky's going on with this text that is uh, accusing... Russell Brand of uh, doing some very heinous things and on top of that graphic the times uh, and Sunday times even you look down here this doesn't look like a normal iPhone thing like this looks all fuzzy and not normal like what what's going on here so you take a look at this you, you already got questions this is outright a Photoshop job and a crappy one at that and they started getting better, but they just these small little holes All you got to do is point to two little holes the timestamps not being right here and Also this whole added area. So what was actually going on here? This is that bombshell information that confirms he did this I think not but guys this is gonna have to get played out the way it always does the way it does when it came to Johnny Depp the way it did when it comes to sadly enough Danny Masterson even though I don't know what's going on there I don't really think I want to know what's going on there but you, this is gonna have to be played out in a court evidence is gonna have to be shown things are gonna have to go forward and until then yeah, we can't say either way. It's going to be a he said, she said, and innocent until proven guilty. But I'm going to leave it there, guys. Please, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it out, friends. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for every time I put out a new video, go live. And I'll see you all on the next one. Bye for now. What's going on guys? Listen, I don't know about you, but uh, I like to indulge in some of the uh, li liquids of fun times, okay? And oftentimes I wake up the next day with, uh, with a headache and stuff like that. And to be honest, the only way that truly helps cure these uh, morning blues as as i would call them would be coffee and you know who puts out good coffee guys coffeebrandcoffee.com listen 
Coffee Brand Coffee is an American-based company. It, it was founded by the quartering. He's going out there. He just wants to sell you coffee. He doesn't want to sell you a political opinion. He doesn't care what your politicals are. He doesn't even care what your cultural opinions are, okay? He just wants to come out here and sell good American coffee sourced here in the States. It, it, it is... It, it is all fantastic and amazing. You have 4,000 verified reviews. Most of them are five star, four star. People are loving this. And I don't blame them because when you take a look at some of these flavors, you got bourbon flavored coffee. God dang, that sounds amazing. You got gunpowder green tea. I like the boom boom sticks and I want to know what's going on right there and when I drink cocoa I haven't drank it in a while due to the keto diet you know that you know trying to lose some weight but when I do drink cocoa or anything like that I like some sweetness I like some richness and I like some enjoyability in my cocoa that's why I'm taking a look over here at this rich caramel cocoa I mean just 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 think of how amazing it is and guys if you go to coffee brand coffee which links will be in the description down below you can use coupon code back taco one word back taco and you can get 10 percent off your purchase that's coffeebrandcoffee.com coupon code back taco